Michael Jackson's production company fought back against the late singer's accuser's unreasonable and oppressive request to unseal some of his police records. On Wednesday, the Billie Jean singer's company MJJ Productions asked that the Superior Court of Los Angeles deny Wade Robson and James Safechuck's March 2024 subpoena requesting access to documents containing photographs of Michael Jackson's genitalia and naked body taken by police. Per the court docs, obtained by Page Six, Jackson's team argued that the highly sensitive and private documents in question were already sealed by a court-entered protective order from the Santa Barbara Superior Court. According to the filing, the photos in question were taken in 1993 around the same time the thriller singer was accused of sexually abusing a then 13-year-old boy. Michael Jackson's production company is trying to stop the late singer's accusers from getting access to his police records. The King of Pop's attorneys claim the alleged victims are seeking documents containing photographs of Michael Jackson's genitalia and naked body taken by police. The photographs in question were taken in 1993. And the suit Attorneys for Jackson's production company pointed out that California law recognizes privacy rights to images of deceased persons. Here, there is no legitimate justification for plaintiff's gross attempt to violate the privacy of a man who has been deceased for almost a decade and to disturb his family's peace of mind and tranquility with our sensation-seeking culture, the documents read. They called the plaintiff's demand for the documents an egregious violation of Jackson's privacy rights and simply beyond the pale. They also argued that the thriller singer still has a right to privacy in death. The suit also alleged that Robson and Safechuck have tried to obtain the police records numerous times in the past which were all quashed by the court. MJJ Productions also argued that the highly sensitive and private pictures were not relevant to the case. Jackson's attorneys also argued that the contents of the sealed documents which include incident reports, photographs, recordings, and other investigative files are not directly relevant to the case. The photographs plaintiffs seek were not taken willingly by Mr. Jackson, they were the result of a court-ordered search based on a false statement in what became a discredited criminal investigation. They added, to allow plaintiffs to exploit that series of circumstances to their benefit by obtaining those photographs now adds a second defilement to the first. Wade Robson left and James Safechuck Wright accused Jackson of molesting them as children in 2013 and 2014, respectively. Robson claimed the Billie Jean singer sexually abused him for seven years. In 2013, Australian choreographer Robson accused Jackson of molesting him from the ages of 7 to 14. The following year, actor Safechuck also filed a lawsuit against the King of Pop, claiming the singer started grooming him for sex at the age of 10. Both men, who appeared on HBO's Leaving Neverland documentary in 2019, are now suing the deceased singer's companies claiming they are liable for allowing the alleged abuse to occur. The alleged victims claim that Jackson's employees allegedly witnessed the sexual abuse or circumstances suggesting sexual abuse. Safechuck and Wade both detailed their experience with Jackson in leaving Neverland. They are suing Jackson's companies for not stepping in to step the alleged abuse. Although their initial lawsuits were thrown out several times in the past, a California judge ruled in August 2023 that they would have their day in court. Plaintiffs had every right to expect defendants to protect them from the entirely foreseeable danger of being left alone with Jackson, Justices Elizabeth Grimes, John Wiley, and Victor Viramontes wrote at the time. A trial date has not yet been set. If you or someone you know is affected by any of the issues raised in this story, Call the Sexual Assault Hotline at 1-800-330-0226.